All right, Cubs fam, we have got a Lord Vader kit. I know you guys are super excited to get all of the juicy details. I have got all of the text here for you. We're gonna go over each ability uh, one at a time. And I'm gonna do this kit a little bit differently. Uh, I think a lot of you have probably seen the kit reveal already, either through Arnold or through Operation Metaverse. But right now, what I really wanna do is more of a long form discussion with the Cubs fam on the kit, break it down, take our time, and go through each ability one uh, one ability at a time. And so let's get right into it. I've, I've got the text here, and we're, we're just going to break down everything, each ability, um, a, a, as it goes through. And one of the biggest things I think that is going to catch a lot of people's attention is that he does have the Empire tag. Um, I mean, that makes sense, right? It, I, I don't know if I pictured him as an Empire character, probably mostly because, like, you know, the, the Empire doesn't really feel formed yet, but... I mean, it makes sense. Like he call, he refers to his new empire, right? Uh, which is one of the uh, ability, my, my new empire, his leader ability, which is an absolute dissertation here. Um, so we're gonna go through ability at a time, and we've got uh, the chat here. You guys are seeing this. We are live right now, and uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna really go through this and take our time. So uh, here we go. Let's start with the basic ability, vindictive storm. Deal physical damage to target enemy, and if Lord Vader has 30 or more stacks of underestimated, which is one of those new effects, um, he deals damage again. And why don't we, let's zoom in on this even just a little bit more so you guys can, we'll make it about as full screen as we can go. All right. Um, each time Lord Vader deals damage with this ability in the same turn, it deals 25% more damage. And I think, I, I could have sworn there was, we might have accidentally deleted, um... Part of the, I, I thought there was a max of 50% there. Let me look at my original text. We were doing a little bit of formatting, and I, I don't see that. Uh, it, might, it might be somewhere else. It's not in the original text. So, anyway, um, a, and then we got Ashes of the Republic, deal damage again. It, it's 50% it's max. It, it is 50% max, um, I'm hearing from the chat. I don't, I don't know where somehow that got deleted. Uh, from from this. So let me pull up. Let's see here. I've I've got the uh the original. Let me jump over to Reddit. We've got um. Let's see here. There there is a very good soul who took screenshots of all of the abilities, and we'll we'll make sure if if anyone notices any contradictions here, let me know. Um, I got this text from Ranger after the kit drop so here we go we'll, we'll show this on screen right now um yeah we've got that uh, max of 50 percent there so somehow that just got deleted so we'll add that right now um so we got max 50 percent all right i don't know how that got taken out of there uh sorry about that all right so um uh, and then we got this ashes of the republic and um we're gonna we're gonna need to spend a little bit of time understanding how this works uh, i'm i i it, might be described a little bit later on where that is. I, it seems like it's a maybe a buff that he gets, and it, it applies differently based on what ability he's deciding to use. So Ashes the Republic for his basic ability lets him do damage again, and so we've got max of fifty percent, and so he can deal damage once he has thirty stacks of underestimated. Uh, once he has thirty stacks of underestimated, he'll deal damage three times. Am I understanding that right, Cubs fam? Um, there, there must be something later in his kit, which I haven't read the whole thing yet, that maybe this is a locked, uh, locked buff. You gain, okay, here we go. Uh, Hyperspace Cowboy has given us the info. You gain Ash of the Republic when he ults. Okay, so this is going to apply to his ultimate ability. All right, we'll get, we'll get to that here in a little bit. That makes sense. Okay, uh, special one, Dark Harbinger. Harbinger? Am I saying that right? Is that going to be a meme? Um, <laughs> De uh, this is a cooldown of three, obviously a Zeta. Deal physical damage to target enemy and inflict buff immunity for two turns. This ability deals 20% more physical damage every time it is used in battle, stacking to five. And so we'll, we'll get up to... Um, I'm, get I'm getting the uh, Harbinger. Harbinger, okay. <laughs> Thank you, fam. Um, <laughs> did I still miss it? Harbinger. 
Everybody knows these words. Uh, so we can do up to 100% uh, more damage. Lord Vader gains 1% ultimate charge. And Empire and Dark Side unaligned force user allies recover 0.5% of health for each stack of underestimated. Interesting. And then we could probably separate this down here. So Ashes of the Republic. This attack also deals true damage. True damage. Cubs never disappoint. <laughs> I'm sorry this word isn't in my normal vocabulary, fam. <laughs> who, where are my people out there who also were not 100% sure on that? Harbinger. Y'all, I'm sorry. Okay. So, um, to understand Special 1 on a bit deeper of a level. So, we're going to be able to deal 20% more damage every time this battle this is used in the battle. And so we've got, once we get to the fifth ability, this is going to be used five times, right? <laughs> Harbangler, Hamburger. <laughs> um, it's like, has anyone seen, um, what is it, uh, Peak Panther, where Steve Martin's trying to pronounce hamburger? I would like to buy an hamburger. <laughs> uh, and then we got Ultimate Charge. Lord Vader gains 1% ultimate charge and Empire and Dark Side online first users recover 0.5% for each stack of underestimated. Is that, um, help me understand this, fam. Is that 1% condition also tied to this 0.5% health for each stack of underestimated? So if he has 30 stacks of underestimated, is that 30% ultimate charge on that ability? Am I understanding that right? Am I understanding that right? Yes, okay. So that will be, for every stack of underestimated, 1% ult charge and 0.5% health for everybody who's Empire or Dark Side unaligned force user. That will apply to Maul as well. Um, so that is interesting. Okay, and it looks like they, they do want him working with Empire plus Maul is kind of the, the, the vibe I'm getting there. Um, only a cooldown of three. All right, let's get to special number two here. Unshackled Emotions. All right, uh, this is a cooldown of five. Deal physical damage to all enemies and apply days. Oh, that's nice. And four dots for two turns. These effects can't be resisted. For each stack of underestimated, this ability deals 2.5% more damage. Wow. And it's, it sounds like we're going to get a lot. We'll, we'll find out in a little bit just how much um, underestimated we get. And all dark side allies gain 1% mastery until the end of the encounter. So we got mastery amplification there. And then uh, once we have the ult, we're going to inflict ability block for one turn. Hey, Jedi Rules, thanks for uh, supporting the channel. Appreciate it. Um, inflict ability block for one turn, which can't be dispelled or resisted. And increase the target enemy's cooldowns by dos. That's... That cool, cooldown increase, man, that is, that's a real kick in the nuts. So, uh, not really a whole lot to unpack there other than we got some ramping damage there. You're going to want to use this with as many stacks of underestimated as possible. Um, is an AoE. And uh, we're going to be able to apply ability, ability block once we have the ultimate. Um, so, anyway, I, I think that's, uh, that pretty much speaks for itself. So, now... We're going we're gonna to need to get the Galaxy of Heroes uh, PhDs out, my friends, because we've got a big, long leadership ability to understand here. Um, <laughs> here we go. So Dark Side allies have plus 20 speed, plus 20% mastery, and plus 10% max health, which is doubled for Empire and Dark Side Unaligned Force user allies. And so clearly it doesn't look like this is going to be a Sith thing. This is going to be an Empire. It, it feels like it's just going to be Empire plus Maul, right? Because he's going to be the unaligned force user, uh, and he's not Empire. So that's, I think that's why we're adding Dark Side unaligned, for, unaligned force user and everything. At the start of battle, other Empire and Dark Side unaligned force user allies lose all protection and gain that much max health. Nihilus, anybody? Um, sounds interesting. If at the start of battle, all allies are dark side. 
then Empire and Dark Side Unaligned Forces, your allies, are immune to fear. Empire tanks gain taunt for two turns. And if an Empire ally loses taunt, they are inflicted with Mark for one turn, which can't be dispelled, prevented, or resisted. Whenever an enemy critically hits a an Empire or Dark Side Unaligned Force user ally, that enemy has 20, minus 25% crit damage stacking for two, three turns. Um, okay, let's, let's unpack that first paragraph there. So, some implica implications. We've got, obviously, so it's going to be plus 40 speed, plus 40% mastery, plus 20% max health, basically, for the whole team, assuming you're using only dark side unaligned force user allies and empire allies, right? And we've got the pre-taunting tank, which is definitely uh, this high, great... Great point, Hyperspace Cowboy. You're going to have to waste the cat insta-kill on whoever the pre-taunting Empire tank is. And if you, it's an interesting way to handle that. Uh, if you lose that taunt, you get inflicted with Mark for one turn. Um, so that's, that's definitely a, a unique way to kind of keep that taunt there. Uh, and if you can even use it, because of all of the turn increases. Yeah, and, and the speed is a question here. Are we even going to get to a point where we can use that um, that soon? Uh, which we've, we've got the cooldown increase by two. This doesn't start on a cooldown. And so this is going to be... Oh, but this, this increases the cooldowns only once we have the ult, though. Right? So is there additional cooldown increase? Let me look at cooldown... Um, in the kit, that's all that we've got for cooldown right there. So we, we've only got the cooldown increase, right, from, from that. Didn't, Maul had a cooldown increase too, though, right? If I remember right? I'm not looking at his kit right now, but that's a, that's a good point. Did, didn't he have cooldown increase? I, you're going to have to forgive me for not memorizing the kits. Maul does have it. Okay. So, yeah. So, we got lots of... On five stacks of anguish. Okay, so, somebody look that up and, and report back. What We're going to keep reading through this kit. All right. Um, so, that's where we are. Uh, and, oh, well, then another thing to think about here. This last part. Whenever an enemy critically hits an Empire or Dark Side Unaligned Force ally... That enemy has minus 25% crit damage stacking for three turns. And so whenever you do damage, you are getting nerfed. You are getting nerfed instantly. And that's for three turns. And so, I mean, that, that is just going to stick around. Hey, thank you so much, Jedi Rules. More support of the channel. You'll love to see it. Really appreciate it. He gets cool, two cooldown increase at five stacks of anguish. Okay. So Cat should probably be able to still get the insta kill out. But the cooldowns are going to become problematic. Okay. Uh, moving on with the leader ability. We're only halfway. Um, whenever a dark side ally has a buff removed. Any dispelling going on. Lord Vader, Empire... And dark side unaligned force, your allies gain 1% mastery stacking until the end of the encounter. Man, you get punished for dispel. Any dispelling is going to be problematic. Whenever a debuffed dark side ally takes damage, Lord Vader gains 2% ultimate charge. Okay. Um, Empire and dark side unaligned force user allies have a 30% crit chance and crit damage when targeting a Galactic Republic enemy. So we have specific synergy against Kenobi. When Empire and Dark Side Online Force user allies are at certain health thresholds, they gain different benefits. So when you're below 80% health, you're immune to critical hits. When you're above 50% health, 
You are immune to damage over time and thermal, thermal detonator effects. And while above 35% health, during an enemy's attack, they're immune to max health reduction and other effects based on max health. And it doesn't elaborate there. So they're going to, the whole team basically, until they are below 35% health, Malik is not going to do anything against the entire team. Uh, we're not going to have any of that max health reduction. Uh, we're not going to have any of that, those max health effects. Um, wow, that's, that is a great bonus. And it applies to Empire and Darkseid Online Force user. So basically, the whole synergy of this kit depends on using a team that is full Empire and Darkseid Online Force user. Yeah. Um, Creatures of Queens can't even develop kits that are canon related. Yeah, you know, and that's interesting feedback. Looking at this, I, this leader ability, I don't really see any nods at all to Anakin and and what it feels like he would be doing as Lord Vader, um, other than the uh, the quote, of course. So, all right. Uh, now on the leader ability, before we move on, are there any other any other implications um, that people are noticing here? With, with the leader ability. Um, something I'm thinking of is once you dispel that taunt, you're going to get the mark, right? So you got the buff removes, so you gain mastery. And when you're, th then they become debuffed with mark, right? It flips from buff to debuff. They're marked. And the ally is going to take damage pretty soon. So that's going to charge the ultimate. And so you kind of have this catch 22 here of, you know, dealing damage. There's the, you get you get punished everything you do you're getting punished. Rexley is nerfed until they're at thirty five percent health. Yep. Yep. Um, Nem's having a hard time being amped up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Anyway, so any, any other observations on the leadership ability? Let me know, and and we'll come back to it. Do those benefits stack, or do you only get one at a time? Um, let's read this text again. When Empire and Darkseid uh, are certain health thresholds, they gain different bonuses. Uh, Rad, thanks for subbing. Uh, very kind of you. Tier 2, 16 months. Man, that's, that's so dope, Brad. You're such a stud, man. Um, I, I, I appreciate you supporting this channel. So, the way this reads, I think, is both of these apply instantly. You've got both of these the whole time. And then you've got everything when they're below 80%, but above 50%. I, I believe that's how it works. Yeah. Yeah, and Operation Metaverse does have the gameplay. Go check out their video. I will leave uh, a link down below on it. You read it as stacking. Yeah, I, I'm pretty confident this is a, this is a stacking stacking ability okay uh let's read unique number one twisted prophecy lord vader's attacks can't be evaded lord vader is immune to turn meter manipulation which is consistent um hey thanks andy beads and at the start of battle loses all protection and gains that much max health at the start of each of lord vader's turns enemies are inflicted with two damage over time effects for two turns which cannot be resisted while an enemy is afflicted with damage over time, they can't gain bonus turn meter. Ooh. At the start of each other's character turn, doubled for Galactic Republic and Jedi enemies, Lord Vader gains one stack of underestimated max of 60. So we can go all the way up to 60. And at the start of each other character's turn. So that... Doubled for Galactic Republic and Jedi. So. At the start of every turn, whether it's an enemy turn or it's, uh, or it's your opponent's, or, or whether it's your own team's turn, you're going to gain one stack of underestimated. And then if you're facing a Galactic Republic Jedi team, you're going to have that double, so it's going to be two. And so pretty quickly, one, two, three, four, five, you're, you're going to get up to, up to that, you know, probably 30% threshold, which up here, what was it, uh, 30 or more stacks. You deal damage again. And so that, that will not take long 
before you're doing double damage, uh, doing two attacks on basic. So I think that's uh, that's pretty nasty. And really, the the fact that these dots, um, you got two damage over time effects for two turns can't be resisted. That's gonna prevent you from gaining any bonus turn meter. That's gonna that's gonna create issues as well. Does it do double twice for Galactic Republic and Jedi? No, I don't think so. The way this reads to me, double for Galactic Republic and Jedi enemies. I, I don't think that Galactic, that means Galactic Republic Jedis would be four stacks. I don't think so. We, we might need some clarity on that. Does anyone else read that differently? It's two, not four. Yeah, that's, that's how I understand it, Creatures of Queens, based on what I'm seeing there. Okay. All right. Um, we all know what the Galactic Legend uh, Zeta is. Um, let's read the ultimate ability. Description requires 65% ultimate charge. Ultimate charge, Lord Vader gains ultimate charge when he uses some special abilities and when debuffed dark side allies receive damage. Um, Lord Vader gains 50% of other dark side allies current mastery stacking until the end of the encounter. Woo! Then they lose that much. Gains 50% of Dark Sally's current mastery until the end of the encounter. Then they lose that much. I'm, I'm a little confused by that last bit. Help me understand that, fam. Um, Empire and Dark Side online force your allies do not lose mastery from this ability. If 100% ultimate charge is used, Lord Vader gains 75% mastery from this ability, dispels all debuffs on himself, takes a bonus turn, and gains Ashes of the Republic for five turns. So that's, that's kind of like the high ground buff, right? Um, which can't be copied, dispelled, or prevented. And then Ashes of the Republic will separate that. Um, Lord Vader's abilities gain additional effects. Enemies defeated during Lord Vader's turns can't be revived. And Lord Vader's immune to ability block and can't gain the ultimate charge when he's got it. The ultimate should have been, no! But I, I, I'm really bummed that they don't have an ability that's just, I hate you. <laughs> That's that's what I really want is the uh I hate you. <laughs> That's that's what I wanted. So I'm a little okay, so when when he procs the alt he gains fifty percent of other dark side allies current mastery. Is that so he's taking that mastery from them? Oh, and then they lose that much. Okay, I, I'm understanding this now. I, I think it's... Okay, so I, so he's taking 50% mastery from the, the other characters and building his own mastery until the end of... The, the end of the encounter bit being in the middle of this kind of made me think after once the encounter is over, then it goes back. I thought is what it was referring to. So he's, he's taking mastery from his team. That makes sense. Empire and Dark Side Alley do not lose mastery from this ability. <laughs> okay, so he takes it from them, but based on what team you're using with him, he's not taking it from them, basically. Um, if one is an ultra, 70 price of mastery from this ability dispels all debuffs. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I guess the question I would have on this one is if we use this ability on non Empire Dark Side allies, is does that last? Yeah, it lasts until the end of the encounter. So, so he keeps it once he uses that ultimate ability. It's done, right? Um, sounds like there's a royal guard rework coming. That's good to know. His ult is another hand wave. Yeah, I saw the ultimate ability and I thought, ah, uh, you know, that's the best you could do, CG. They stack uh so much mastery passively that his ult is going to supercharge him. Yeah, we have a lot of, I mean, look at, if we look through the kit. If you look at all of the references to mastery in this kit, we've got a lot of different, a lot of different stacking mastery. So on special two, 
All dark side allies gain 1% mastery until the end of the encounter. For every stack of underestimated. So that's up to 60% mastery when that ability is used, right? And then they've got the plus 40% mastery if they are uh, Empire Dark Side Online Force user. Um, whenever a Dark Side ally has a buff removed, allies gain 1% mastery. Lord Vader, Empire, Dark Side Online Force user gain 1% mastery. And so. So that is three different ways to stack mastery throughout the battle. Number one, when Lord Vader uses unshackled emotions, they're going to gain up to 60% mastery. All dark side allies. Okay? So that's plus 60%. We get an immediate plus 40% if you're within synergy. And then anytime they get dispelled, another 1%. And so between all of that happening... Between all of that happening, there is going to be some serious, some serious uh, benefits from this ultimate ability. Lord Vader comes out today, I'm hearing. Is that true, Mary J? Are we seeing that in game right now? I thought he would come out today. Oh, man. Today. Woo! All right, let's, we'll pull up the game and see if anything's showing. Does, it, does anybody have... Um, so there, there is a forms post on this. Okay. There is a form. Wow. So we, while posting the interview, he said that. Is that for each buff removed? Good question. So let's look at that. So that was, uh, whenever a dark side ally has a buff removed, Lord Vader, Empire, and dark side online first year allies gain 1% mastery stacking until the end of the encounter. You know, it's not clear. But based on the language, it feels like it's per buff. It does feel like it's per buff. Because it says whenever a dark side online force user has a buff removed, not every instance of buffs being removed, but anytime a buff is removed, so five buffs removed at once, I think that would be 5%. B based on the language I'm seeing there. That is what I think it is. So... Um, let me, let me see here. I'm going to jump over to, um, to the game real quick. And we're going to see if we can find an indicator of, of the uh, event going live. Let's look at the journey guide coming soon still. Uh, obviously I'm not ready, so it's not showing up for me. There's pro we're probably waiting for a hot fix for that event to go live right now it is probably where we're at. Waiting for that hot fix. So, it does make sense. I Hey, Gouda, thanks for the sub. It, it does make sense. I, I envisioned that we were going to be having that today because it's two weeks since the requirements. They're just really late on the kit reveal, I think is, is what this comes down to. Okay, so I, I think that really wraps up his kit. Uh, did, any questions on the kit? Can I post this document on my Discord? Yeah, I'll, I'll post the... I, I can post it. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. I mean, the, I think the kit just got dropped on the forms, though. Right? Here, let's look. You guys should have the, the kit text now. Or did he just say... Did they just post that there's an interview? Interesting. Do they not have the kit text out there yet? Uh, we don't have... I don't have any information on Royal Guard and how Royal Guard is getting touched up. No official kit uh, on the form. So this is, this is what we got right here. Okay. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to, I think we'll wrap up the video there. And uh, we're going to stay live. If you guys want to come join the party over on Twitch, be, be sure to come on over. Twitch.tv slash CubsFanHan. Um, we're going to be probably unlocking Lord Vader. I, I think Nem has his account, and we'll probably be able to get that, um, get that going. So we'll, we'll talk to him about that. Uh, maybe we'll drop around 515 PT. We'll see. Yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to hang out. Until it drops, um, I do have to go at a certain point in time. 
but we will we will have to see if they if they drop it before that so all right guys uh that's gonna do it for today and as always my brothers don't forget